All right, thanks again for staying with us on the program TMI Thursday. Uh, let's begin our conversations this morning by looking at some of the progress made in the fight against human trafficking and illegal migration. Then X-ray, some of the efforts being made by international organizations to support this new challenge that is affecting the world. I mean, it's not restricted to Nigeria or Africa. It's a global menace. I mean, if you're conversant with uh, the recent war of words between the U.S. and Mexico over plans by Donald Trump to actually put a wall uh, to limit the rate of crossover from the U.S.-Mexico border, you appreciate why we say this is more or less a global menace that needs all hands to be on deck to be able to checkmate it. And I've got with me in the studio, Comrade Solomon Okorua is the senior special assistant to the state governor on human trafficking and illegal migration. Many thanks for joining us, Solomon. Thank you very much for having me. So where are we in this whole exercise? At some point, it was like back to back. We were receiving uh, returnees from Libya and other parts of uh, other trouble spots. Where are we? Uh, we haven't seen that in recent times. Yeah, that shows that this time we have made a lot of progress. The, the massive, this, the rate of massive mass exodus has drastically reduced. Okay. Because when they go, when, when they live in that, when they live in droves and they go stuck, that is where they, we have a lot of this and we, you know, we are contented to, you know, to get them back to Nigeria. Okay. So for now, the awareness has, you know, has uh, this and has got to the highest level in the state. The government has given us a mandate to, you know, to reach out to every community, to reach out to every, every areas in the state to ensure that we flood them with a, a valuable message of the danger of regular migration and the benefit of getting the gate back at home. Mm. And that will be done. And, it, and because of that, the, the level of desperation has reduced and people are beginning to see the need, need why they will become, why they will travel legally and, had, and had, why, why they will have confidence in the states. Mm. I, I think it was last week there was uh, so, so, some sort of activities which climaxed at the museum grounds yeah. with uh, uh, a concert, so to speak. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it was an, uh, listen, uh, a, a program put together by uh, uh, Edusita uh, uh, Human Trafficking and in collaboration with an uh, uh, international organization for migration. Okay. Just, you know, see, we need a way to, listen, uh, to harmonize our uh, projects with uh, the local communities. Mm. It's a project geared towards reaching, uh, listen, uh, inspiring our youths to have confidence in the state, to have confidence in the system, to have confidence in themselves, to harness potentials. That yes, if this guy can can do this, I can also do this. So is a is a is a is a, whole, is a project all together to ensure that yes, our youth aspire to become what they want to be, either in the music sector or in the, 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 in the area. Mm -hmm. So is a is a is a pro is a is a is a honestly is a, is a, a, a great project mm -hmm. that was supported by the state government through the through the task force against human trafficking and also the uh, international organization for migration IOM. Okay, yeah. you, you said a while ago that uh, we haven't seen much of returnees, uh, which, in your opinion, uh, is a pointer to the fact that the structures and strategies adopted to uh, sensitize the populace is gaining ground. So you have less of people uh, willing to move out. Uh, what what uh, major steps have been taken to settle down those who have returned? Uh, there are instances where people are complaining that, well, after undergoing training, there are no startup capitals and stuff like that. What are we doing in that direction? Yeah, the, see, the, the governor or the government has set up a committee that the task force against human trafficking to oversee all these activities. Mm. Now, the, the, what the task force is doing is to manage the, 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 the participant holder or the returnees with any available opportunities, either with IOM or with uh, UNODC or any agency that comes to that, that has interest in the in reintegrating or return migrants you understand so the task force doesn't have that resources to continue to you know empower individual returnees we have vast number of them about 5,000 plus now we are in the states yes, so whenever opportunity comes for example most of them that have been trained by IOM they got some grants from IOM to take off the, to, to start up the, the living, mm. you understand? Mm. So those are the recommendations the task force and the, the state government is doing mm. to ensure that every single person return on that Edo state, this, this government program, or the, the state task force program, and uh, came by through IOM, got empowered. Mm. And was whatever the, uh, IOM gave you that, uh, that, that, that compulsory uh, 
business key, definitely mm -hmm. their name must come out for empowerment. Okay. So they, they pair them. So but but it's like you're saying that it's not everybody that has access to this empowerment. Uh, some probably who came, you, you said by, uh, you said well, at the state government, there's no way the government will be able to now um, empower everybody because of maybe funds and stuff like that. Yes. But those who probably had the privilege of being trained by IOM, like you said, they, they get one or two grants or something like that. They, they yeah. should get grants. Mm. Yes. Is it for everybody? All of them. Okay. I think they, I think your, your station was at this and making the announcement this some, some time ago that yes. Yes, if you know you return for so and so time, come call so and so number. So that should show that yes, those agencies have been you know giving that money to reach out to every returnings okay. in these states okay. that have not been have not been, even though that listen i got it that, that, that got trained in lagos mm. as long as, as long as you, are, you reside in benin and they have officers in benin definitely they reach out to you and they engage you in their programs so that is what the task force is monitoring mm. they are monitoring the opportunity and the opportunity opportunity, opportunity available at every ngos and every agencies that are saddled with the responsibility of to take care of migrants in these states to manage uh, uh, this and the return migrants with any of available opportunity okay. to, to start what's, what's the level of response to the issue of trafficking yeah the response is this and the, the, the response like i said earlier in the, when we go to schools we talk to them about the antis and styles of traffickers okay all right we go to market we let the market women know these are the this is the deceptive manner by uh, this and you know by traffickers mm -hmm. to lure your daughter or your sons into living in nigeria okay so the awareness is getting high parents are getting to know the details we are letting know that there's a law now and also the other factors are also you know this help, help the government to you know to 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 make a lot of progress in this regard mm. the other factors has you know help in, a, in a such a way that the traditional rule institution who are who, who in the past in aiding this uh, you know uh, the illegal business mm -hmm. have you know have backed off mm -hmm. the business all right so this that is where we are right now the level the students in the school who were who were, pot, who were potential victims mm. have reduced they got in the information in fact they are, most of them are now our ambassadors because we go to school we form what is called this uh, anti-human tra trafficking club in the school so those club now become our ambassador they help us to, sens to sens sensitize students in the assembly ground mm. in the morning mm. to talk to them about what we said yesterday about the antis and how what are the antis how they come with uh, this and uh, place it in uh, with good, uh, this and uh, maybe good uh, sweet well prospects, yeah. yeah. Prospect, uh, good prospect yeah. over yeah. there, yeah. and how you come to buy the house in the next uh, three months and uh, build, take your mother away from there, you know, one Poverty, room and give it. Yeah. So these are the things that uh, they, they heard in the past. And most of, the, uh, most of them are sitting there now. I tell the stories about a young girl who paid 45,000 US dollars and came to Nigeria at the mess of the state government for his support. You know, after giving the whooping sum of 17.1 million dollar to a madam mm. in these states, and sticking back home broke and broke. Poor. You understand? Yeah. So, so these are the things. When, when whenever you, you give them that mm, this narrative story, you you dramatize it to them. Mm. They they feel they feel it and say no, I cannot be part of it. At the time, I, I was in one school when uh, a student asked me, so is it what my auntie is doing there? I said, I'm not saying this is what your auntie is doing there. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is what they are doing. They get burst into tears. You can see the emotion from this young girl. So this is what the government has achieved in telling this. So these are, I know NGOs have been doing it before, but government coming up to say, yeah, this is a problem. Let's let identify. Let, let's find a lasting solution to this problem mm -hmm. has actually given uh, this in a, has actually, you know, reduce the drug reduce the prejudice and the the menace drastically in these states okay yeah. all right Let, let's talk about um, the issue of transparency and accountability in dealing with uh, illegal migration particularly as it relates to funding w what are your thoughts what are your perspectives because we know that uh, a, a lot of resources is coming in to help to deal with this challenge the bulk of these resources is not coming from the local environment it's from international organization. How are we responding in that in that direction? Yeah, you see, a state government has an open. Uh, listen, uh, they say they operate in the transparent manner, and that transparency, you know, make this uh, come to you know, uh, uh, make available by this. Uh, that is the leadership of the the tax force now. Our, our Adudat professor, professor of uh, you know law. Uh, who is the chairperson of, of the task force against trafficking? She is a person that has uh, that have drive the entire the process of this task force and, and, and the both heights. Right now, she has provided good leadership. 
had a, listen, uh, she has provided, provided a good leadership in the tax force and uh, has created a, a, a good international relationship between the state government and uh, an international donors to come. So donors are coming in to support the projects. They don't come to give a state government money. So, so we design the programs for them. So the one they can fund, or the project they can fund, they do, they do that. For example, there was a program, this, uh, this uh, 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 um, victim protective custody. Or uh, this, uh, yes, that we, this, uh, that was recently be, this, uh, built by uh, international uh, donor in collaboration with the state government. So these are the things we, 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 we identify a project. And they, then they fund the they project. They fund the building. You want to build, you want, you want to build uh, centers for SYZ, you say yes, okay, they'll give us the cost, and where is the location? They don't give you the money to go ahead and do mm. that. Mm. So, and that is the, because the government has a structure, it has a standard. The government has a standard. And he said, this is how I want the system to be run. And that is what they are following. Mm. That is what they are following. So, um, we partner with several international donors, international agencies. But none of them have said, okay, where is your account number? Let me give, me, let me, let me give you this one bill, or let me give you this two bill, or let me give you three bill. No, they don't give money like that. All right. So what Edo State government is doing is to create a, a transparent way of operating in this field of migration and trafficking for donors to come in and say, yes, let, it see, let me see how we can fit in. We can fit into it. area of training, give me 50 people to be trained and empower them. I want to fit into uh, this in, uh, into in, into skill acquisition center. Give me give me location or area you feel that we can assist. We we we'll do it for you. So that is area. That is how they see. That is how it operates. It, okay. it well, looking at the future against the background of some of the gains made so far, what what does it what does it look like? Can you make some projections? In the in the in, in, the, in the nearest future, with some of the gains recorded now, mm. you said, for example, uh, the rate at which people move abroad. Uh, has drastically reduced. That's also the reason why uh, we haven't seen much of the returnees in recent times. But does that mean we don't have people stranded in Libya and other parts of uh, the world, particularly in the, those trouble spots? Yeah, there are sick people. We have people, we have several, several of them in Mali, we have some of them in the Senegal, we have some of them in the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire here, we have some, we have seen many of them in, 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 in Libya. You know, what I'm, uh, what, I'm, what, what, what it mean, what is, uh, this, uh, this means is that Edo State government doesn't go to all of these countries to bring migrants to Nigeria. There's agency starting with the responsibilities, supported by the United Nations okay. to do this job. So when they come to Lagos, that is where the governor said, no, these are our people. We don't want it to be roaming around Lagos looking for transport to come to Benin. Because mm -hmm. that's what has been. In our time, you, we, we're calling send a charge car from Benin to Lagos or to Abuja to get it, to get a vet from Lagos or Abuja to Benin. On your own? On your own. You're on your own. Once you get to Lagos, without any support from... Nobody from... supports. Nobody supports. Mm. You know, if you don't have anybody in Lagos, you must look for... Because of, of, of course, it does come with something that you say in Lagos that will give you funds to come to Benin. Mm -hmm. But we thank God for this, the, the, the ambassador who said, no, this is return. He never said who sent them in the first place. He said, these are our people. Go to Lagos, bring a do extraction of Libya returnees. And at the time, other people were saying, I'm from a do. <laughs> I'm from a do. And uh, because, uh, because of because of we, we do that, we, 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 have, we have a way of also sympathizing. Yes. We're looking at their condition. Yes. We're ill, of, we're free, and they're very weak. Mm. So, no, let's come to Benin. So, it was a great success that we recorded. And a lot of people, you know, commended the state government for that. Uh, is, is it sustainable? The but, yeah, we're still, going, we're still doing it. Mm. We're still doing it. It is when I will, you know, give us information about, uh, you know, if, uh, people that will be coming. That mm -hmm. is what we prepare for it. Okay. Yes. So we don't have that information. We don't, not, or as long as we get information that, yes, we, this is a flight will be learned. But you said a while ago that we still have some Nigerians stranded in Libya, Mali, and several other Yes, it, we still have them. Yes. 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 Maybe they are going documentation, they are, they are going documentation okay. or the logistics have not been made available to people who are bringing them to Nigeria. Okay. So as soon as they, they are done with their own, our, our, ours is ever ready. We have a, we have a standby team mm. who are on this uh, rescue mission, going to Lagos, bring them with their vehicle, take them to a hotel, you know, give them the first time, uh, this in, uh, in the, the first time welcome pack, and they will. So we are still very much ready to receive them and put and add them to our data data bills. Okay, mm. uh, but do, do we have an idea of what uh, amount of funds that um, this project has consumed since it started? For me, uh, the governor of Edo State has been so, he, he, the, everything has been done, it has been from Edo State government coffer. Okay. That's what we received. The governor has been approving some of the projects that we are, you know, currently doing. This okay. work, this, uh, you know, legal strip, 
Gregory Tony, solely funded by Edo State government. Okay. Edo State government. Now, you know, I, I, I laughed when I heard, I said, this is a uh, 30 billion we're giving to uh, uh, the, this in a, uh, the, the task the force, task force mm. or the, 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 our, our amiable professor okay. for this project. Nobody gives you money like that. All right? Nobody gives you money, 3 billion naira to do what? United Nations or whoever, whichever organization. No, they, they don't. Tell us what you want to do. For example, so now we want to listen. We, are, we want to be want you to take care of this return migrant project from Lagos to Benin. Yeah. You know, so okay, how many how many people are coming? They, for example, I not say that is what they are doing. For example, so they look at a problem. They look at a project that you have that you are doing that you are making a success with. They will say, okay, let me fund it. For example, advocacy. Advocacy. So okay, now what are things you need? So okay, I need the, I need materials. Uh, this is uh, essential materials. Mm -hmm. We need the, the the projector. We say okay, they provide all this thing for you, and you go and sensitize people in the state capacity. Okay. Then you don't say in collaboration with S Y Z organization. So that is how it runs. Mm -hmm. They don't give you. So money. so if if we say if we say, okay, the story of three billion naira is not true. What then is true, or what then is the truth? Was that communicated? Because. The, the challenge is where you don't have access to the right information, there's bound to be rumor. And some say, oh, in every rumor, there's an element of truth. So what is, what is the level of communication in terms of transparency and accountability in the deployment of resources to tackle trafficking and illegal migration? Don't you think that's where the problem is? I feel that whoever that needs information, go to the source and ask. It is where you are declined of this access to data information. That's where you now raise the line. Okay. Nobody has come to ask. Uh, we heard that you, are, you, you have received money. What did you, how did you use the money? Mm -hmm. They will not say, we don't, we don't receive money. To the best of my knowledge, in that department, professor has not received money, and the task force has not received money. Nothing will come without the knowledge of the governor. It is never, it's not possible. So that is, that, is this, that is a standard the governor created. We have the, 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 that is, we, we have the SSG, the government, we have the chief of staff, we have the governor. These are the people who, you know, coordinate the affairs of the government on governance we have at times. All right? And most of them follow back-to-back -back activities of the tax force. Okay. Okay. So there is no way such amount of money will come to the to government, to, to the tax force, without the knowledge of the governor. Okay. And that money, the, the, the money, the, the, is, that is, I think that money is a... Is, is an, is, 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 is a I don't, I don't want. I don't want to use the word spurious, but it's not. 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 I don't know if the money is coming. I pray the money comes. <laughs> you understand? I pray the money comes because the money is going to be judiciously used okay. to the vast majority of Edo people. Okay. You know, to, 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 but for, for now, the money has not come. Okay. So if you need, if you need information mm. about the tax force, the tax force is open. The professor line is open, or the office is uh, 24 hours, but it's, up, it's open every day. Come to the task force. If you are unable to see task force, there are people in the office that can give you this, whatever information you need about the warnings of the Edosi uh, task force against human trafficking. Okay. Um, yeah. Just before we let you go, uh, comrade, um, there are a number of factors that uh, triggers trafficking or illegal migration, as the case may be. For some analysts, these factors are still there. This environment that, that want people, that sort of uh, encourages people to move, they are still there. Are you concerned about that? The factors? Yes. The, the, yes, the fact, the, yes, what are the factors? You know, the unemployment factor, mm -hmm. the hunger factor, they are still there. They are still there. What government is doing is to let you know that there are hidden potentials in you that you can uh, next and develop yourself. For example, look at the way we came. You, you, you recall that, Mr. You, 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 from time to time, you come into this program to talk to people about my experience in, in Libya. Yeah. You understand? Now, this time, I'm, not, I'm not longer talking about my experience now. I'm talking about the solution that we have created yeah. through the experience that I've had. What, what, what happened? I was able to you know, look at myself and say, you know, look at the problem in the city and see how I can be part of the solution. That is what I did. So you also can do that. Government can or government cannot continue, continue to, you know, uh, cannot empower everybody in the states. I have a farm, you understand, huh? and I have an NGO. I'm working with all of these things to ensure that I help myself, and I'm also enhancing my knowledge in this area of my 
of my this is it is of my choice. So you can also do that. You cannot do you can do that because if you continue to say governor, I am a returning, assist me. I'm a returning. How many returning can government? So what, what about those that don't go to Libya? Mm. You understand? So I'm not saying government. I'm not. I'm not using this you know, to tell government to discourage government not to help returnees. No, there's a plan and program for return migrants. Mm. There's a plan and program for return migrants, and they say all the returnees they have a program, you know, designed by the governor and the government of those states. You understand? But all I'm saying is, in the in the option, in, 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 on the other hand, there are things you can do for yourself. Most of them are, were capital before they left Nigeria. Definitely. Most of them were they wear that before they left Nigeria. Most of them were uh, you know, uh, you know, hairdresser before they left Nigeria. So look at this area. If you need that, you need some assistance in this in order to, to you know to get your feedback again in this very in this just area that I mentioned, you can can do a write up and at least I know I know, I know I know the number of persons the, the, the professor has helped in our capacity. Mm. You know, go and start up something. Go and start up something. And I know I, I, the people, the governor, this and the SAG has helped yeah, that I know returnings. They wrote a letter that oh, God, I'm a returning. Uh, this and I'm a weather. I don't need. I need uh, some, a wedding machine. The man approved the money and he go. I want to buy a button and it's working now. I know how many people. The chief of staff have personally helped. Okay. That are this and that are returnings. Yeah. In these states yeah. today. So you're saying that yeah. everybody can really get such um, such an opportunity, but once you get returned, you can look inward and take advantage. Exactly. Of the exactly. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been nice talking yeah. with Comrade uh, Solomon Kodua. One last word from you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And uh, also, this, I want to also let uh, uh, do people know that the role this agency, this uh, 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 the, uh, this uh, organization has helped also done uh, this uh, this uh, the, the, the IOM. Uh, no, not IOM. Okay. An, an, an age. Okay. Okay. An age. Uh, uh, this uh, an age. You know, this uh, is an NGO in Benin. When we came from Libya. He positioned us, he gave us that mentorship, uh, you know, uh, he gave, he gave that, that mentorship on how to stand mm -hmm. without actually necessarily looking for government support. Okay. okay. You know, so the role they played in the life of return management cannot be overemphasized in this regard. I know I, I said this because other NGOs that are also living in, in, in the industry today to take, to also look, they, 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 not, 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 they will not continue to say these are government responsibilities. Mm. Mr. Uh, listen, sir, you also remember, you recall that from time to time when, when he was having a program, that Niger Letter program yes, on television. Yes, you're talking about David Golo Yes, Golo now. The, yeah. Reverend David Golo. Yes. He was actually, uh, most of the time, every, uh, every Tuesday or Thursday that time, you know, featuring us in his program mm. to drive the matter into the heart of the government. Okay. And that was why the former governor of Edo State, Commissioner Danso Shomole, you know, was able to get some of us engaged in the system. Mm. So I'm saying this for other NGOs in Benin that this project is not, it's not only government projects. There are ways you can come in. There are ways you can, you can look at areas these people need and see if you, there are people you can develop their capacity. Go ahead and do it. Okay. All right, thank you very much, uh, mm -hmm. Comrade Solomon Okodowa, the Senior Special Assistant to the State Governor on Illegal mi Migration and uh, Human Trafficking. Thank you so much for the useful thought that you've given to us. So thank you very much for having me today. Okay, it's the TMI. We'll take a short break. We'll be back with you with the rest of the program. Don't go away.